Madison Southern in Clark County. We've got sports reporter Nicole Hutchinson on the beat and she sets the stage for Friday night. There's been lots of new changes for Madison Southern football in the past nine months. A new coach, a new quarterback under center, new starters. And they're looking to add one more change to that list. Right after the game, you know, they, they spoke up and said, Coach, we got to pick it up with our conditioning. You know, we're not where we need to be. The Eagles are coming off a week one loss to Southwestern after taking an early 19 to nothing lead in that game. We were really ready to win. I feel like they were getting a little discouraged. Coach told us in the locker room they're a second half team. I believe none of us took that too well serious. We showed good potential to, in the first half. To, uh, I think. Uh, I mean, I think we execute our, very well. I think the second half we didn't. We got tired. I don't think so much physically as it was mentally. We started making a bunch of mistakes. Mistakes that we should not see come Friday night. Whoa. The Eagles have put an emphasis on conditioning this entire week. After each period, at the sound of Coach Payne's whistle, they have to hit the line. We wasn't able to finish knowing that we have energy enough to finish the game. I feel like that's the most biggest emphasis, and that conditioning that we're doing is definitely helping. Now Southern has another test this week taken on George Rogers Clark that's coming off a 28 to nothing win over Cooper. The Cardinals have a versatile quarterback in Ty League Maxwell that can make plays in any situation and a very good run game led by their workhorse in Kalen Washington that finished with 96 yards on 16 carries and a touchdown in week one. And well, the stat sheet from last week says it all about the Cardinal defense. I mean, they play hard, so they got some good playmakers to make plays fast. We're going to have to, our tackles are going to get out there, get those defensive ends blocked and just going to do our assignment. And sitting at 0-1 heading into week two, this team's ready to regroup and get in the win column for this week's game of the week. A lot of people are counting us out already, but I feel like they don't know the full potential of the full team, and uh, it, it gives us a drive to push harder. Covering home team Friday night's game of the week, Nicole Hutchison, Fox 56 Sports.